Hi all, welcome to my uh, fourth video. It's also uh, an, an uh, embedded wall. So in uh, 1981, Berlin and Fox had this paper. And the paper title is The Overall Stability of Free and Cropped Embedded Cantilever Retaining Wall. And in the appendix of this paper, uh, there, are, there are a few examples. Today I'm going to focus on one example cropped water retaining uh, wall uh, retaining wall for co uh, cohesionless soil and i already took all this data to uh, an uh, word document so i'm going to uh, use this data and can do the same uh, get the same profile as given in this paper this profile and do the analysis and see how how much deflection i'm going to get so i will have only one soil type and uh, the soil properties i will name the soil as sandy soil and the uh, unit weight 19.6 cohesion the soil and normally consolidated k0 is 0.5 k a is 0.3 and KP is 4.9 and the rate of increase in modulus with depth is uh, uh, 5000 and poison ratio is 0.316 so initial ground water table is at um, negative 2.67 meters And uh, there is a uh, groundwater profile change in the passive side. So active side, it will be remaining same, but uh, in passive side, it will change uh, to the to a depth 5.33. So the wall properties are a uh, negative 14 meters depth, and the young modulus is 20 GPA, and the uh, moment of inertia is 0 0.01 and uh, there will be a strut at two uh, negative two meters and spacing one meter a cross-sectional area zero zero one so it's same as this uh, table and young modulus is 2e8 and free length is 10 meters and the uh, strut is going to be horizontal and pre-stress value is 1e negative 4 and I'm going to not allow any tension. And I don't have any loads or surcharges in this one, but I do have three stages. So in the first stage, I'm going to insert, install the strut. So it's strut this uh, first one. And in the second stage, uh, I'm going to have uh, the water pressure, change in water pressure for file one. I'm going to read the analysis data and in the stage 3 I'm going to excavate on the passive side of the wall to a negative 8 meters and I'm going to read all this graphical data and I'm going to use a uh, fact of safety uh, Berlin and Fort's method and I'm going to use to 1.2 factor of safety uh, these values are the default value and I'm going to select the subcrete reaction model and uh, I'm going to select nonlinear model models parameter as 14 and length uh, I am going to select 10,000 and selection of the Width of the excavation, this one is also 10,000, and distance of the regime boundary, active side 28, and the other side, passive side 14. Then I'm going to need uh, all these uh, data outputs. Yes, yes, I'm going to click, click this. So we already created uh, this uh, diagram, the same as uh, this figure 16 example one. 
So our final thing is to analyze the data. So this is the outcome uh, we are getting from the analysis and we are getting us two small displacement at the top. And uh, so you can save this one as uh, in your own name. And uh, then after saving that one, you can create a report. So and you can create the report and extract all the data. So creative report is the same as the previous videos. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. So it's kind of repeating one of the old papers examples. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.